Uh, one thing I'd like to uh, point out, what this is, is a very, what I like to call, surgical approach to addressing gang violence. Again, going after those who are the most violent in our community. What this is not is police officers and law enforcement going into neighborhoods, stopping every car moving, and trying to find reasons to take people to jail, which is sometimes the um, feeling in some neighborhoods. The public information officer will be releasing a list soon because we're going to reach out to the public for the folks who we did not get into custody to at least point us in the right direction or give us some information or so those folks can come and turn themselves in. Um, we had 36 folks that were on our list, 34 actual locations where we were serving warrants. Um, we had over 100 uh, law enforcement officials involved in this and not that's not counting um, support staff. We use uh, crime analysts, we use clerks. Um, we just lots of people that's very um, resource intensive. Um, we had gotten to a, uh, a conclusion of where, where the operation was going. Um, the other thing was we wanted to specifically uh, do this right around this time of year. We, we want people, you know, I'm hoping, I'm, a, I'm an optimist that, you know, maybe some parents and grandparents will allow their kids to go out and ride their bikes during the, the holiday season. So um, I thought this is very timely for the conclusion of the operation. Jane, somebody who picks up a firearm and shoots at somebody else is dangerous. I don't look at levels of people being dangerous. People who are willing to uh, go out and shoot other people, specifically our children. I, I can't put levels on it. And I'm so proud of our staff and everyone that was involved in this investigation, but yet I'm still reaching out to the community saying that, um, you know, we need you to come forward and give us even more information because an arrest is, is not enough. Um, we need to have enough information to be able to prosecute the people that are involved in this. Um, you know, I get an operation like this from the things that Mr. Talbot talked about. There were over 10 um, planned shootings that were interrupted during this period. I, you know, I invite you to go back over the last couple of months and look at our press releases of how many guns we seized at the time we did not reference this operation, but a lot of those those car stops and those gun seizures were direct result of us intercepting people who were on their way to shoot other people. And, and Bakersfield police officers and California DOJ and Highway Patrol did a great job of you know, making those car stops, doing those things safely and taking people into custody and taking guns off the street.